Hi, John here. Um, today is uh, Monday, the 8th of August, 2016. Happens to be my birthday today. Um, so the subject here is my court case. Um, that's on the 15th of August. Late notice. My barrister told me yesterday. Uh, Shannon Withers, uh, Rockham Chambers. So far, um, he's collating the documents I gave him, fresh ones, yesterday, and they're online um, for you to see how this case is going to come out uh, from the judge. You can see clearly there's a problem with the documents, that's what I said to him, out of everything that's happening online. And my case with Cook Street, 77 Cook Street, the documents are faulty. They've libeled each other with those faulty documents that are being forged by one CIB, Detective Natalie Flower Dew Brown. It's becoming common for police to be committing crimes at the expense of taxpayers and the citizens of New Zealand. It's not good enough. The government is running a fraudulent system of law breaking in their own Crown Corporations. Now put the motu propria there. The law applies to this country that Pope Francis destroyed all trusts and corporations. I stretched that to Shannon yesterday on the video I made. Um, that from September um, last year, it was enforced on any anyone in Crown Corporations and Trusts using this law around the world is destroyed. They can't use it on me in my case. I'm not worried about any other case. I'm talking about a president case, my case, as where this law applies. The judge cannot use UCC law, Admiralty law, bank laws, mortgage laws, canon law, courier law, civil laws, all these laws that are on these charge sheets that is leveled against me as committing offences under the 1961 Crimes Act, I'm making a counterclaim against her charge sheets that are fraudulent. They're being tampered with the witnesses' evidence and the Witnesses are the people on the land block of 77 Cook Street that are not the landowners. They are tenants that have made a public complaint. Different matter to what we're dealing with, with a historic case, a land case that he has to look at and get advice from my other barrister, Charles Hirschfeld. I'm just about to ring him up. But he is heading the schedule of the trip to the United Nations and to the World Court with these complaints and other complaints from the Confederation of Chiefs and Sue Nakora against this government and not including my case but it can be put in as well. I've got my own case straight into the High Court of Admiralty in London but I'm going as their legal advocate with Charles Hirschfeld and Sunakura and Chief Kingi Taurua, who I'm having a meeting with today, and I'll be filming that as well. So he has the authority of this flag as the contractor to the British Navy and military and the government of Britain, UK, the standing government that's there now in Parliament. Uh, that's in tatters itself and its laws. 
the same as John Key and his laws and the United States of America and Obama and Hillary Clinton and their laws are corrupted as well. The same Queen Elizabeth side, the opposite side, I said to him quite clearly, they've got the Crown side, corporations and trusts on the Queen side, then you've got the King's corporations and trusts they can't touch, it's separate contracts. I'm dealing with the King's contract and the Chief Kingi Taurua of the native Hapu Moai tribes, separate from the other corporates. We have our own corporate system of self-government straight to Westminster, our legal partners in business under this flag. This is a British flag that has been given to us for this reason of trading free passage around the world. This is our flag jurisdiction that I'm telling the barrister to adhere to what I'm saying because Charles Hirschfeld represents this flag in the Confederation of Chiefs of the Tribes of Aotearoa, New Zealand with a delegation that's going to the United Nations and I'm their customary native legal advocate, investigator of titles, native assessor and creditor, royal assignee representing the hapu. Okay, so that's really what I wanted to tell him yesterday, that Charles Hirschfeld is familiar with our historic case on Cook Street and the Manukau title and the Moai title to these lands. Okay, so to uh, Shannon, I, um, uh, I just want to say this. I issued three affidavits at three separate times in the hand personally to my accused, me the accuser and the accused landowners at their office of business, Shortland Street. Handwritten, typed, signed, sealed, king sealed document to rebut my claim. I have my chiefs behind me and their organization under this flag on Waitangi Marae King's Bench Court that belongs to King Itaura. Okay? We had three separate notices at three different days of 72 hours each. Shannon, 72 hours each. I think you got confused with three notices in a bundle. No, they were meant to be 72 hour notice or 21 day notice to rebut my word against their word that the title is fraudulent. Now it had nothing to do with those people who rang up the police. They were warned. I warned them. I warned the police. I gave the police notice. I gave you notice online. I told you what I was doing each time I went into intentions to seize the land with a property warrant seizure notice. That's in our jurisdiction of Admiralty above everyone else's jurisdiction in the world now that Pope Francis has destroyed all your Queen's Admiralty court martial laws or your laws you're using in your courts. Now I'm saying to Shannon to dismiss the case, lock them up, and <clears throat> save face on bad publicity on the landowners who put the police in front of me, and their conveyancing lawyers who put the police in front of me so that the police can use their law to stop me from going onto that land. They didn't use the proper police systems of getting 
the lawyer to do the conveyancing job of telling me to back off. I was waiting for their conveyancing lawyers to answer me. The first time I went with the first notice, I says to the owner, James Pierce Brown and Simon Brent Roundtree, take this to your barrister and get your money back from this land. Because I'm taking the land back. It's in default from the last owner and the last owner. And you've not been told. You haven't been disclosed that we have a unregistered interest in it. So it comes up with this unregistered title that you see on my Facebook as being rejected from being registered as a unregistered interest. Land information did not register as under section 145 and 145A of the Land Transfer Act. They're supposed to put every other interest where their title came from. They can't tell me who they got it from. There's only one company that had the title here, the Manukau Land Company. And the Manukau family wanted to put their name on it. They have every right because they hold that title, the Manukau title. I'm holding the memorials to that title on One Tree Hill. Right? They made a graveyard, made a, made, made a footpath over the graveyard of Carpenter the Giant. I've got the plaque here and someone removed it. You see, it's been vandalised by someone, and that's unresolved. These are serious matters why we're taking our land back. We have every right to take our land back if there's fraud on it. There's fraud everywhere in the Panama tax havens, and that's one of them. All of these bank uh, fraud mortgage is happening in that land block. Those people on that site doesn't know that. They've been put up to it to make a public nuisance of themselves in front of the whole world watching. And they're liable now because Natalie came in here with her documents. I'm telling the barrister, tell the judge that the documents are faulty. They are illegal in the way they're being constructed without lawyer. The police made those documents. They're not lawyers. They're not authorised qualified to make those legal decisions on behalf of the police are not lawmakers. Okay, so that's where they've gone off track and everyone who used those documents is liable to her. I'm libeling her. I say to him, don't look at anybody else. She's the one that injured me and my business that's registering in London. I've paid the fees. It's there. It's, I, put, I gave it to him to see that that was the event when I was doing Cook Street. Right from 2008, that Cook Street property has been bad title. I've said that enough times, that we are solving the criminal part of that transaction. And all the other people stepped in the road of me and three strikes on you out, three affidavits at three separate times. They said they were going to take it to the lawyer. I never heard back. Their barrister should have wrote to me and told me, back off. Otherwise we'll sue you. They put the police in front to do the job instead of them because they can't answer to a fraud title. They can't inquire into a fraud title because they were caught out. They're going to get caught out, the whole lot of them, including Bailey's. I warned Bailey's, don't sell their property because it's not clear title. It's not proper administered title. You have to have who you bought it from on the title. Okay, they can't prove it. They can't prove it. The doubt, benefit of the doubt, rests with me because three affidavits they never rebutted that becomes law is law that's what i'm trying to tell them tell the judge the law was made on those three affidavits okay they were hand del delivered anything i say on videos on online those are used as evidence in the court 
Well, everything I'm saying online is admissible in the High Court of Admiralty or any courts in the world. And I didn't want it to go into other courts because it's going to land up wasting time and money and my business is accumulating a debt against them for holding it up. They've held up my business right through. The other policemen who did the same as Natalie Flower Dew Brown tampered with my information. Now I'm going to ring um, Chahosra now. I've got to find his number, um, which is here. I hope he is there. I'll just I'm just answering to my son saying happy birthday. There, right. Greeted with that. Well, I'm hoping Charles is going to pick his phone up. Oh. Um, hang on, hang on a second. Bear with me. Okay. Haven't called him for a long time. Here goes. answering. Thought he might have gone to his answer line. Anyway, he's not answering and he hasn't got an answer phone. And I'll try later. I'll have to try another number. Um, but I just want to um, let the viewers know, people following us, that um, um, this case um, is set for 15th of August. That's what I got told yesterday. Uh, in the Auckland District Court. So for those who are coming to see it, then... Um, our chief, King Itaurua, is expected to be there, and those other chiefs from Ngāpui. It's your flag I'm talking about, and the case of land. The same land here as what we did with Waitangi Marae, opened it up on the 15th of March, 15th of April of this year, 2016, as a Waitangi Marae King's Bench Court under this flag of jurisdiction straight to Britain. So I'm setting that up now online with the Moai Powerhouse Group Limited Company and sparking it off tomorrow uh, or Wednesday at the latest to finish off um, the office address there and my uh, secretary there, Sue Young. Uh, who will take up the administrative duties of the share company and our business with the Moai Tidal Energy Turbine project that's in Britain, UK and here in the East Cape at Port Awanui and Ranfilly Bank. 
linked straight into Westminster, the new Britain, UK government, with us in their Aotea New Zealand country, straight in there under this flag. We are raising this flag on the 28th of October this year on that marae, all earlier. I'm sorting that with Kingi today. After speaking to him yesterday, I wanted to come see the barrister, but he was in Tauranga. So to all those who are following us uh, in the iwi and the hapu, then this is our moment. That the eighth hour of time when the world is in a turmoil with the Queen on that side and Obama and Clinton going haywire with mixing people up with all the money in the world they're throwing at it to try and stop Donald Trump from being the President of the United States or President of America. We are quite confident that he will be the President of America, not USA or any other fictitious name that's been made up by the Queen's authority and her title on America and the Commonwealth that we're seizing off her with this flag and King Ernest Augustus V, King of Britain, UK, still. He is the legitimate King of England. Britain, UK. Okay, he's the King of Britain, UK. As far as we're concerned, the direct bloodline descendant of King William the Fourth, King William the Third, and King Ernest Augustus the First, and King George the Third, King George the First, their father. Well, King George the Third, their father. Their father. Okay, so that's all I wanted to do and since I've got this call was for Charles Hirschfield. I have to try and find another number. Well, I'll try again. I'll try and call him again and see if I can raise him. He should be in his office. to try somewhere else to try and find where he is. Because my barrister Shannon will be trying to find him as well. I'm just about doing a lawyer's job. Just about know which X I've told him which X um but it looked a bit confusing to have so many acts he's broken. Natalie Flower Du Brown is mischievous. Mischievous, as a lot of those police are mischievous, like Obama and Clinton, to stir up trouble in their system of law so that you get into trouble. Now, Shannon, this is what happened. When the police came on to Cook Street, they had no means of arresting anyone because the police station already knew we had issues with that land. That they didn't know what to arrest everyone on, those marshals. And one thing, it wasn't me that went in there and confronted those people, so I got nothing against those people really, because they didn't injure me until Natalie Flower Du Brown came in here with documents to say those witnesses witnessed me as being the troublemaker. You see? I didn't physically go in the office because I got told, don't go in there. I was asked to go on the site by the police officer because that's what the marshals are saying. If you want John Wanoa, he's standing on the road. We can call him in, you can call him in if you want to. So the police call me in. 
You see, so this woman fabricated that and put the trespass order on me when I was allowed to go in there against the trespass order. You see, so they still bought the trespass order. But I'm saying this. On the day that the police were called to a public complaint from the tenants, not the landowner, from the tenants, the tenants should have told the landowner to come down. They didn't. You see, the landowner should have came and sorted his land out because I was there for the land, not for the people. I was there for the land. It's our land. It's not their land. Prove that it's your land. You might have things on it, but prove that you got that land before our natives got here. Now, that's where that goes. This will go straight up to the highest court in the world on the Marae at Waitangi. Waitangi, Marae, King's Bench Court. Now, on that day, they should have arrested us for something. They didn't. It took them three more days to think what to arrest me on, Shannon. It took three days to come and arrest me on something that they accused me of doing because of what the witnesses said. Then when the witnesses would have written, that's what Shannon's getting, what they wrote in the handwriting, she altered and put into capital letters their names and made them into something else apart from the real statement. The statement was not the same anymore. It was tampered with by mischievous police fingers of a woman. Bahia, at that, they wanted me down. They wanted to put me down, those Bahias. All of them, Pahias, wanted to put me down. But I'm too smart for that because I'm there for the land. It's not your land. Sorry, it's not your land. It belongs to the native chiefs. You haven't got clear title to the whole country. You have to get the whole country and Napui first before you can call it your own. You haven't conquered us. We're just about to conquer you with our title, straight to Britain. It's a British problem because they let you fellows run loose. Shannon, the British is liable to allow John Key to do what he wants here. He can't really do what he wants on our land. This is ours. I'm speaking for the chiefs because I've learned enough about law to speak for them. And all they do is okay it. The chief has okayed what I say under this flag and their marae. Okay? So three days it takes to make their minds up if they want to arrest me or anybody. It gave them enough time to dream up a story. And collide together, collude together, and conspire to defraud me and the public of New Zealand for their own financial investment interests against this flag and our landowners' financial investment interests of the Hapu chiefs and the public of New Zealand. All society is affected by what Pope Francis said. He destroyed all the corporations and trusts, especially the trusts that you put my name in capitals and made a trust out of it. That's illegal and fraudulent. That's what I'm telling Shannon. He, he has to learn fast because I'm up to speed on the knowledge of law of Admiralty, this flag, of the king's authority. Not the queen didn't make these laws. The king did. She's usurped our power in this flag for her government and courts and police and lawyers. And the lawyers are abusing those laws for their own business, their private interest business.
private business. This is private business. This is the only flag in the world with private business in it. The Queen doesn't have private business origins. She took it from this king. This king is building her 970 million trillion trillion pound note for embezzling us, the chiefs, in straight fraud from EU Parliament, Brussels. That's what I'm saying to him. She's a conflict of interest with our corporations. We are corporations in the kings started the first corporations off in this flag in 1834, 1835 under this flag. Everything after that, 28th of October this year, 2015, uh, 16, from 1835, 28th of October, 1835, all the corporations that the Queen uses came out of this flag. Now, that's our jurisdiction, over your jurisdiction. Now that the Pope has wiped you out of the use of all these laws to stop the fraud that you're committing on me, you're caught right in it. The judges, the courts, the police, and the government is caught right in it there. Because the Pope, you're using the Pope's laws. You're still using their laws, his, his laws, when he's demolished them, to stop you using them against me and fraud. I'm using the, his jurisdiction against you. It's all online, I put it there. There's my proof of claim to seize that land. We are seizing that land from the date I wanted to seize it long ago. Right? Right through, and you just carried on and ignored everything I said. There'll come a time when the whole lot is going to be forfeited, the whole country. We're meeting about that now, right now. The end is nigh for the fraudster, John Key, to be locked up and seize everything off him and everyone else, the Governor General too, because he's instrumental in selling these lands from that Marae. Everybody that's been fraudulent in that Marae, according to Pope Francis, is liable. That's what I'm saying to Kingy on this video, Kingy, I'll see you today. And I'll stress this public notice to the whole world watching that <clears throat> the Queen is liable, the Prime Minister is liable in New Zealand, the Governor General is liable in New Zealand, and all the police and all the courts because of what you have done to me right in the middle of What's appropriate? I'm using those jurisdictions with this flag and the British government, the rehashed New Zealand government, uh, um, British government, with us in it. We made intentions to go into Westminster with this flag. I should have been there now, hadn't it been for these people, the police holding me up on Cook Street, and those landowners. They've hauled due process of our corporations, our king's corporations, up. That is our inherent right on our inherent claims to our land that's been stolen. I'm considering, with my chiefs, all this land has been stolen through no end date contract, 1840 Treaty of Waitangi. No end date contract. Period. That's it. It's a fraudulent document. All its acts and statutes are null because of the Pope demolishing your use of his laws. You have no law. We've got the Admiralty Law and the Land Laws of England and the Acts of King William IV, 1830 to 1837. That's our law. That's our law, still 182 years old our use of on you and your system.
king, may, surrogate, flag, chiefs. You, John Key, Prime Minister, no queen, no seal of Westminster, no seal of the queen on these documents. No seal of the court on these documents. No seal of any bar association lawyers, law society, on those documents. All it was was one woman who was a police officer that took three days, Sharon, three days to make her mind up to come and arrest me with 12 policemen. Who's paying those wages on those 12 policemen? It's coming out of John Juan Noah, the homemade name that is a trust. They can't do that to me. That's why I'm telling Barrister before the court date to get the full disclosure on John Wanoa and that money. All of it. All of it. I want an inventory of that account. May not be a bank account, but that money is stacked up somewhere to pay all of you people to do my case. You can't tell me you're taking it out of your own bank to pay them or the taxpayer. No, it's coming out of Mr. John Wanoa in capitals. Nowhere on those documents is there a natural name in lower case. No capital letters in it. Nowhere is there in there to arrest me, that man, a natural man. They arrested me, a natural man, and the person John Wanoa, in capital Wanoa word, and Mr. Wanoa in capitals, and Hawani Wanoa in capitals, is really not me. Yet his birth date is the same as mine. I want to meet him. I want him to appear in court with Natalie Flower Du Brown, the one that authorised or auth author of those documents. She sat there with her brain, the stupid brain, then made this all up, then altered the witnesses and put their names in also trusts. Their trusts to make money and their instruments under a police law. Show me the act where there's a police law that allows them to override the Law Society and Bar Association to make laws like mortgages only comes out of Admiralty. Show me a law of authority to use those instruments to arrest me in my house without arrest warrant for one but the documents have been forged I'm accusing and it's up to the barrister to prove that they're defective yet the judge used them to open a contract with because that's what they were made for a contract to make money out of me that's what I called when he says what's the blackmail bit that's it. I just explained it. The blackmail is to make me sign a document, bail bond, for John Wanoa, the other person who's the trustee over there, somebody real, that I want disclosed to stand in court to say, yes, I'm the one that got the money. That's should be looking like me. He, that person that should have been arrested for fraud, they arrested this one, not that John Wano. I want to meet him because he might be my brother that's been missing for a long time. And I want to tell him, where's my bet? Where, where's my money to pay you all my bills and my pills and everything else? All the projects I want to build because I think there's a substantial amount of money that he's got to pay all these people and put somewhere. I want that back. 
I want it back. That's what I want to tell it. And who allowed that to happen? Now, if you're using the Pope's laws, you're in trouble. You're all in trouble. It's going to go right back through the system. Because that's what I'm saying. That side of the Queen's Bench Court and the government here, John Key's government, and all of his cabinet, and all those people who make institute laws to allow these frauds to happen, and John Key to allow the fraud people to come from other countries and screw our land off and sell it to overseas interests with these tax havens, Panama tax havens, to look after the tax avoidance or tax fraud from paying tax for his private interest companies. You see, we're lumped with everything of the bill to keep feeding this monster that I'm trying to tell you, Shannon Withers, you're being paid by the same John one hour behind the wall there. I want to see how you got paid because I got a bill that I have to pay if I win the case. I'm going to win the case, but I'm going to make my perpetrators pay the bill. Everything from the 970 million trillion trillion pound note that I'm going to start writing it out soon as soon as I open up the company in Britain tomorrow. My secretary there. It's not small that I'm talking. This is our business that's being tempered with by using instrument documents to make money for your own companies, John Key. You're in trouble because you allow the Panama tax havens to occur on our land. These are our lands that you're frauding your business here with other overseas interests and TPPA. This is our land you're playing with. This is our flag you're playing with. This is the British government you're playing with. Okay? And the military, for that matter. Now the British government is watching this video. The British people are watching this video. The American people are watching this video. Because it rings of a certain amount of truth. Because that's what Moai is. Tell the truth and that's what truth So help me God. It's true. Everything I say and do is the truth. You haven't rebutted any of it yet. You landowners are hiding behind the police. The convincing lawyers are hiding behind the police. That's what I'm saying, Shannon. It's you and your profession. If you came to my garage, I'm a mechanic. It's the same thing. I'll tell you the laws of mechanics to fix something that's broken. This just happens to be something that's broken in front of a mechanic. You know what I'm doing? I'm screwing it all to bits and picking up what's wrong with it. I'm going to tune it up. Your law is corrupted to blazes, Shanna. And I want you to see that your profession has been tampered with by these amateurs in the police force. They are amateurs. They should not be there. The police force needs to be squashed and bring the military in from Britain to take over because that's what they're obligated to do. It's their job to come and fix this problem with John Key. They'll find lots of fraud. They'll find the Rothschilds here with lands they've stolen as fraud. They're going to lose it. As I'm saying, the King in total. The Pope's on our side on that one, with the law. His law is the Admiralty law that you have. It's been borrowed from here, from the King, William, the third and fourth, and King George the third. It's been usurped. We're taking it back off him and America and Britain and rehash with Britain and us there, where we should have been in the first place. Okay, so that's all. I, 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 I failed to raise 
uh, Carl, I'll just try one more time. His number, his phone is ringing. He might be late to work. I have got the right number. I'll just try it one more time and I will make another video and try to catch him again. Not even an answer phone. Okay, Charles Israel. Charles. Name. Carl. I haven't spoken to him for many a month. Okay, so that's it. Thank you very much. Uh, we'll talk later again, but um, uh, one one more time for the uh, viewing public. Uh, we are going to open the shares of my Powerhouse Group Limited, London, tomorrow, uh, and take pay, um, mobile phone systems, that's already on our website. I have to rehash the website to make it work. It was working in 2012, from 2008, and um, we are hooking up uh, the tag pay uh, for the pound note uh, shares, a free share of £25 for every member in the world on your flags. For now, just push, fill out the little box on the white box on the front. It's mainly the mobile phone that we need. Mainly the mobile phone. Mostly the, the phone numbers, the landline is for businesses. But most of normal, ordinary people are going to be treated as self-employed uh, because we're crediting. We have to credit what we recover from fraud people, like this land block, all those people in there, 43 of them, are considered criminal. Right? I'm labeling them criminal. We can't get through this court. It's because it's faulty and they'll want to stick up for their faulty business. And these documents that have clobbered them. Okay, they're liable themselves with these documents. So I want to make certain that uh, um, the credit from any recovered property or um, seized uh, lands and um, uh, assets, bank accounts, businesses goes into this My Powerhouse Group company in London. Uh, it has a uh, uh, it has a trillion shares, a billion shares, one billion shares each country, that's for England. Uh, and the parent company here in, in is registered, Na Atua E Wa Altair Limited, is one of a trillion shares. Nine 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 shares uh, in total and so we're splitting off a billion for each of 250 countries that are linked up to tag pay as a means of transferring from your bank account to our bank in London and all it does in under a minute is one text. Now it can range from one pound to one, 100,000 pounds in one transfer quite easily. It's that fail-proof French system, take pay, it's French. And I'm hoping that they'll allow us to use the pound note and not the euro. But if it's euro, it'll be in euro converted to pound notes. So we have uh, your shares going straight in from what we recover from after expenses each month. We're splitting it right down so that it's paid out each month or down to a week uh, if we've got the system to cover paying out into your mobile every week. 
I prefer weak as being um, dispensing uh, the profits after tax, British tax system. That's what our administrator will be doing in London, uh, Sue Young um, in Dover. Um, so her appointment um, is as soon as the company is registered, it's paid. The application has been paid in 2012, Shannon, that's for your record. And it um, will be operational to open up to the shares to the world. So anybody, children included, everyone, every single one, except dogs and cats and mice, um, will get a free £25 share. It has to be somebody living, um, only for the living, not for the dead, um, in this king system. There's no dead people. They're all alive. Okay? So for the companies, um, there's a separate... Uh, corporate system under this flag of Admiralty that's corporate uh, um, shares are um, in bigger denominations because they're the contractors who build all our projects the bigger ones anyway in Cook Street they come under that category of have to be a shareholder in Maui Powerhouse Group in order to have a stake in this business. It becomes under one of those flags, governments, that we are automatically from Britain included in that king system. Okay? The new Britain will have the king, Ernest Augustus, as nominated into Parliament when I get there. Okay? Just to let you know that we are in business as soon as we register it. That should have happened in 2012 will happen here and being my birthday today I wanted this so I said to the barrister I want my name um, that mystery man John Wanoa settled so that I pick up that inheritance it belongs to me because I can claim something that looks like mine and someone's mischievous on the other end playing with the money in that account. I'm claiming that account with this court hearing that's been affected because it's been used on Natalie Flower Dew Brown's instrument on the bail bond. That's my property that I'm claiming in this court hearing coming up. Okay, did you hear that? I'm modelling myself here as being a victim of injury to my name and my business that's being tampered with and threatened with impersonations of me, the real John Wanoa. Okay? You got that? Because you're one of them too. All you have to do is join us in the Maui Powerhouse Group, put your name on the front and Mara here in Rotorua will take care of the registrar. The share register for the company in England will be run here with the parent company, Mautuewa Altair Limited, paid out in New Zealand dollars from the mobile phone tech bank. <clears throat> and we're using Press the Shop and Blue Snap uh, Gateway Networks Shopping Centre to put these products that we have the Pound Note, the Fraud, the Shares, the other products that we're going to market. Where, where it be fisheries or, or buildings or any other products added to that list as being a shopping list and press the button at the end to collect whatever you are buying or selling online on those networks 
In other words, we have our shopping list there of the shares where you buy them as commodities. Then it goes, now that TagPay has finally linked up BlueSnap and press the shop, that's what I've been trying to tell them for a long, long time. It, because they interpret the language of those countries they're dealing with in our products, they can interpret it and push that button on the flag and it'll go straight through. We pick up the tabs on the merchant uh, fees on TagPay, Press Shop and Blue Snap to use their services as using the pound note effectively electronic pound note okay we use the pound note as an electronic form of money from water money the water resource here and around the world with this flag the king's flag is a free passage through the world in the admiralty seat resources is this flag okay so that's that that's a lot amount to absorb for any person of lesser knowledge of the law of the sea the law of the land the law of the sky and the law of the native king contract we're in contract people we were in contract before the Queen came here with her contract on the 1840 Treaty of Waitangi on Titi Marae, Kingi's land. Okay, everything is on his land. He is the owner of that land Waitangi Marae sits on. He wants it back. It's been stolen. And Jerry Matiparai Andrews, Governor General, wants to be the ambassador to New Zealand to take the Queen's place, the void that she's left and jump ship and gone overboard out of the Admiralty and gone to Brussels. He wants to sit over there while she's in Brussels telling him what to do to sell the rest of this land as hers. It's not hers anymore. We see it on our documents. All we're doing is enforcing them because we enforce them on Titi Marae and put them into Waitangi Marae where Mataparae has been selling Kingi's lands off and using our flag is no more. We sack them out. We sack them out of Britain. We warn Britain, don't let them in. Don't let John Key in, don't let him in. Don't let anybody in. Even Helen Clark, don't let her in anything because she's one of the frauds that we're accusing, that has damaged and injured us, the natural people, in this whole world. Okay, so that's all I want to say for now, um, Shannon. <coughs> I hope you can digest all of that in a short time from your holiday overseas, and now you can focus on the real deal. What I'm saying here is virtually done your job for you. I've actually done your job for you. All you have to do is present it in small. Really, it boils down to this. Three affidavits constitutes the law of that land as being unrefuted as title over Cook Street. And those documents, I want you to... <coughs> Find the author, stand in front of the judge, or settle out of court. Settle out of court for everything to save money for the taxpayer to pick up the tab for all the mistakes that that side has done. The ones that accuse the people that I'm accusing has created conspiracy against me and my chiefs. Right back to 2008. Mohi Manaka claim why one to one Shiri Waitangi that I did 
I did his claim. Okay? I still haven't finished with it. I'll finish it off this way. It boils down to law versus law. Queen's law, King's law. Which law prevails in this case? The native law prevails. Tikana, my law prevails. If there's an argument or a conflict of interest in any land, Maui native law prevails. Not Maori, Maui. The Maori has been the product of the Crown Corporation's trusts. So that's illegal. It is a trust, Maori trust, and all those titles we are challenging on the Port Waikato blocks with um, Te Horo Marae and Irupaina, the chief there, and Leslie and Richard Fisher in support of us in this title to stay in the hapu of what's there remains there what people there remains there we're just changing the law to the king from the queen and the fraud taken off the land and the bill given over to settle the account settle the account of John Key with the king. King King Itaudu, in his own right, is a king, Edward, and his trust is still intact with Queen Victoria in the British system, straight to that Marae, Waitangi Marae, King's Bench Court. His King William the Fourth niece, Queen Victoria, put together the trust in 1848, still remains. That's our business, in the private, in the private of King William. This is a private contract fact. <clears throat> that side defaulted. Queen Elizabeth defaulted with the Rothschilds, Pope Francis, and Obama, and John Key. Okay? So that's the debtors levy, the king, and King Itaura, the debtor, the creditor levy, the creditor levy, which is me. King Itaura, contractor, British military, navy, government, parliament, contract, party, first party, second party, King Itaura. Third party, John Key, Queen, Elizabeth II, absent, absent Crown Corporation business. No Queen, King prevails with this thing. You got that, Shannon? You, you got all of that? Because Charles Hirschfeld is our lawyer, is our barrister, with all this knowledge going with us any time now. As soon as I clear this court, we're off to the United Nations to stamp our foot on our land as the owners and straight to <coughs> the World Court, the Hague, to take all the fraud cases against the treaty settlements and Chris Robinson, Attorney General, all liable. All I'm doing is the bank to replace the Rothschild bank. There. I said it. The pound note of King Tafio is our legacy. 1888 pound note given to King Tafio. Happens to be a native of Moai. Okay? Do I make myself clear? Thank you. Thank you. I shall have my birthday today and a bit of pie, a piece. I've been up two o'clock this morning to 
run a few things across to the barrister, keep him on his toes, because he's getting paid from the mystery man, John one R. So it's from the mystery man and me, the real John one R. Have a happy day and enjoy life on earth. Thank you.